what's up guys this is lucky and i welcome you guys back to this tutorial section again so guys in today's video i want to show you how to fix the the sound problem on your system now this problem could uh, range from a software problem to a hardware problem right so all you need to do is just to uh, stay tuned to the end of this video and i'll be giving you a step-by-step -step process on how to actually resolve this kind of problem all right so let's now jump in into the video okay guys so from here you can see i have no sound device working on this system when i click on the sound icon i'm getting a notification that no audio output device is installed why i have a speaker installed on the system but i can't even hear any sound from the system now the major reason why this is happening is because there are some device driver error right so maybe the driver for this particular speaker here is not um, installed on this system so when i go to device manager as you can see here the multimedia audio controller is not uh, driven and this is the driver that controls the speaker right so all you need to do is just to uh, follow this step that i'm going to be showing you here and you'll be able to uh, resolve this kind of problem right so the first uh, step here is to actually open your browser so you open your browser and from here you type in the model of your system here what i got here is hp uh, 450g8 so i'll just type in hp 450g8 driver hp 450g8 driver drivers i'll just click on enter and from here i open the first link there i'm going to leave the link in the description of this video so you just click on it and it will bring you to this page so guys when you come to this place you drop down this icon and you select the operating system here i have windows 10 if you are running on windows 11 you just select windows 11 and from here guys i'm going to select the architecture so if you want to confirm the architecture of your system just go to file manager and from here you just right click and you move to properties and so guys you go to version here we are running a 21 h2 version of windows 10 so you just select the uh, right one from there so this is our 21 h264 bits right so after that you just click on submit so guys here is the bunch of driver for this uh, laptop for the 450 g8 laptop so what i'm going to do here now is to go to driver the audio driver since that is what we are looking for so i'll just go to the audio driver and then i'll click on download and then i'll wait for the download to start so guys here here is the driver as you can see here the driver is downloading but here i already have the driver downloaded on this system so i'm just trying to show you how to get to this uh, step so this is the driver here i already downloaded it on my system so after downloading this driver the next thing i'm going to do is just to um, click on open file so guys from here you just click on next you save the license terms and agreement and you click on next and from here you click on next and you wait for the driver to extract so this is actually a simple fix that you can just um, carry out as you can see here the driver is installing and after the installation you find out that the audio uh, control will now come out from here the normal audio icon that's supposed to be here will just come out So you just give it a moment um it takes time depending on the spec of your system all right guys so we successfully uh, fixed that uh, sound problem so as you can see here our speaker is now is now working fine right 
so guys that brings us to the end of this tutorial so after installing the driver and the problem still persists now all you have to do is just to uh, check on the hardware and uh, see if the speaker is properly connected to the system so like at the start i was saying that this could be a software problem or a hardware problem so in the case of this laptop here the problem is from the software the driver issue so as long as the driver is not here the the sound device which is the speaker is not going to work right so all you have to do is just to um I'll drive it and after driving it if it doesn't work then you should check and see that your speaker is properly connected to the motherboard all right so that brings us to the end of this tutorial guys if today is your first time of visiting our youtube channel guys i would like you to subscribe and turn on the bell notification so in case anytime that i will drop a new content here on our youtube channel you will be notified and you will come and uh, watch our video right okay so see you in the next video bye for now